Hey guys, welcome back to Ojeda's Adventures. I have a special treat for you guys. I, my brother-in-law recently picked up the Ceterion APX after he seen me purchase my full-size APX. He liked it, but he wanted something a little similar. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what he got and just go review it and, and let you know what I my thoughts on it. Here we go. All right, guys, this is a case that any APX comes in. It has the slide the the grooves of the slide on the case it has a Beretta logo and here it goes the new uh, Ceterion uh, not new but the Ceterion pistol that my brother-in-law picked up um, it is a lot it's a little smaller than my full size that I have but my brother-in-law has a laser on here he still has to adjust that which he wants my help with and I'll I'll probably make a video of that as well but this is a uh, the the Ceterion pistol um, and he purchased this one because it's a little smaller and also you want to check any pistols make sure they're empty which this one is no rounds so I already made sure of that before making this video but he purchased this brand new he actually purchased it from where I purchased mine which is Ray Sporting Goods and I don't know why when you purchase a new gun the, or the APX, it it kind of, it's kind of hard to, to to slide it back forward. There we go, it went back. I don't know, it's just because he hasn't cleaned it and he actually, he brought it to me so I could clean it for him to get some of his uh, lubricant off of it. Cause I, he knows I like, you know, doing that kind of stuff, cleaning guns and, and just messing around with, you know, Firearms, but safely in a safe manner, like going to the gun range and stuff like that. But um, this is the Ceterion that he purchased uh, for home defense. Um, eventually, he will get his uh, license to carry for the state of Texas. But the state of Texas, what's interesting is they're trying to make it a constitutional law where anybody that's a law-abiding citizen can carry a pistol. It already passed the Senate and it's moving up. So it might happen. If it does, will be the, uh, I believe the 20th state or 19th state to adopt that, which um, that means more people will be carrying firearms. But this is made in Italy. It's, it's stamped by Beretta here. It is a lot smaller. Now this does come in two calibers, just like the full size. It comes in a nine millimeter, a 40 cal, it also has 15, 15 rounds that it carries. It, it's two less than the my pistol, which is I carry 17 uh, plus one. You can carry one in a chamber, and th this one too, 15 and one. Uh, but what's great about this gun, if you want something that you can switch from a, because you can actually switch the polymer frame from the uh, uh, from this one to the compact and without having to purchase a new firearm. So if you want something a little smaller a little, um, and easier to carry, you can purchase that and switch out the polymer frame. Uh, with the full size, you can't really do that because of the, because the, the slide is 13, uh, I'm sorry, 3.7 inches, the barrel, and so is the compact. So they, the Zeterian and the compact share the same barrel so that's why they can change in between each other, which is, um, that's great because you don't have to purchase a whole new firearm, but the full size can do that. But again, this is doesn't have the mount where you can mount a, a red dot. For that, you have to um, mill the the barrel or the slide and, and, and buy the mount to put it on here so it, that way it has that hole where um, this can go up and down when shooting. Now, it's just like the full size that I have, and I'm gonna show you how the full size uh, pistol I have here. Full size APX. And I already, uh, see I, car I carry this pistol, so that's why I have rounds. That's why I say check every pistol and always point in a safe direction. All right. So there's no round in the magazine, no round in the chamber, so we're good. But this one, I already changed the 
Paul, I'm referring to the uh, olive green with, and I put the black back strap because it's a un unique look. And so I have this one, and I also have it with a alien alien uh, gear holster, which is uh, I think is pretty awesome. It's you know I carry carry this daily. Also, guys, I'm gonna break this down for you guys as well. So. This also has a, the same trigger pull as the full size or in the compact. They all have a six pound trigger pull, uh, which you can buy something to lessen that to I think a four pound trigger pull. And also, like I said, on my full size, I changed the, the color of the, uh, the polymer frame. You can buy that, uh, the polymer frames, because the chassis, what's cool about this, the chassis uh, can, come out of the polymer frame and be switched into another frame, which is pretty cool. So you can change it from the black to the olive green, to the gray wolf, to, uh, to the tan. So you do have uh, custom a little bit of customization. It also comes with the uh, steel frame. I mean, not steel frame, steel sights with the white dots, white dots here. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna show you how to take this down as well. So you'll press this button while put, taking down the takedown lever. But before you do that, like I said, make sure the pistol's empty, but you're gonna pull the trigger to disengage the striker. And, and then once you do that, you'll come to this side, push in, pull down. The, you're gonna have to do a little harder, especially when it's brand new. And then it'll slide forward. When it slides forward, you're gonna have the guide guide rod here, the barrel, and then the slide, and which is pretty pretty cool. So you want to you know be able to take your pistol apart. So I do advise practicing that because um, this does take a little more uh, strength to push that in. But not too much. I mean, I what I noticed is after I clean my APX, it seemed to get easier. And because I mean, the guns lubricated really. You know, I lubricate my guns really well, clean it up, and make sure everything works properly. So it does get a little easier once you clean it after after your your first time. And so you know, it's pretty cool. So, but again, it's it's pretty easy to put back as well. You just slide the barrel back in. Put the guy rod back in. Oops. All right, there you go. So I put the guy rod back in and now you just sli uh, slide it back in. Before I slide it back in, I want to talk about this as well. These uh, the slide rail or chassis, the chassis is really long. So it, when the, when the slide is, when you're shooting and it's, and it's sliding, it makes it more stable for, uh, for you when you're shooting. Uh, the recoil is not as bad and which is awesome. Now I do love my, my pistol, the APX, the full size. It just feels better to me. Um, I feel like I've just, more meat on the grip i mean because it is a bigger larger but again you got to find a pistol that you feel comfortable carrying so my brother-in-law feels comfortable carrying this one that's great on him because you have to find a firearm that you really like and that you feel comfortable carrying now there are limited on like i said on or on holsters, so I went with Alien Gear because they have a really nice, um, comfortable holster for the APX, and I, that's why I went with them. So uh, I'll probably suggest that to him as well, or something similar, but I really like the APX. It's a good material that they use. I mean, it does take a little longer to get it, but again, you pay what you get. Now, the reason why I suggested uh, the APX was because Brett has been making firearms for 500 years. They're very reliable. 
and very smooth to shoot and they're accurate so i you know i told my brother-in-law if you want a glock or a bread I, I mean you won't go wrong but i i just said i, I just told him i really like the bread a lot a lot more it's it's i would like to be unique i don't like to be part of the crowd so that's why i went with the beretta which is you know pretty awesome a pretty awesome gun now i know the prices have changed just due to the pandemic um this gun probably would have been in the low 300s right now my brother-in-law picked it up for 500 because of the pandemic uh firearms have skyrocketed in pricing i'm sad to say but i mean it's just you know the demand is high and it you know everything has gone up in pricing due to the pandemic so um you know if you find something that's below 300 you know count yourself lucky but i mean you pay what you get um on your, on your when you're buying a pistol um i would say don't cheap out because this this is what you're gonna rely on to save your life one day so also uh, regarding the 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 railing i mean the polymer frame i do have a video up on that if you want to watch that just go to my videos and uh, just look for that i show you how to to change the polymer frame out yes guys i just wanted to share you know some of the or you know some of the stuff you know done the different apx with y'all guys um i am working to change up my content a little bit so i'm looking right now uh for a, a kayak company or a rental company that will either rent me a Hobie kayak because I want to do some uh, some kayak fishing uh, or just you know any kind of fishing kayak so I'm looking for a, a company in the Dallas Texas area or the DFW or Dallas Fort Worth area so if y'all know of one just link it link them on the bottom and I'll reach out to them but uh, I want to do some uh, kayak fishing and I will do some uh, gun range uh, footage as well later on and just give you my uh, you know review on how both pistols shoot because they do shoot really well uh, but I want to show you some video footage of that as well but if you have any suggestions on content or any comments on how I can improve the channel uh, just leave them down below I appreciate anything y'all suggest um, also I did make a video about cleaning pistols so actually I'll be cleaning this one for my brother-in-law so that way he has a nice clean pistol uh, you know just a good brother-in-law like that but uh, uh, but if you have any suggestions please, please link them at the, at the bottom but again this is another video from Ojeda's Adventures I appreciate your support like subscribe also press the door the uh, not doorbell the uh, bell at the bottom and that way you can get updates when I do post again but I appreciate your support and y'all have a blessed day.